Here is a continuation of uh, discussion on uh, centroid and uh, center of gravity. Uh, we discussed this in uh, a few previous videos and I am just trying to uh, explain another uh, worked out example here. Uh, so we discussed in, the pre in, a, in a few previous video that uh, uh, the, the centroid and or, or moment of area um, uh, is calculated about axis and uh, the axis about which the the, the the moment of area is calculated is called the axis of reference and for plane figures this is usually the lowest line of the figure for determining y bar and the leftmost for x bar so if you look at this figure um, you can and, and one more thing if the section is symmetrical about x or y axis then the cg will be at the intersection of the axis now uh, you can look at this uh, this picture again you can see this is uh, uh, say if this is your x axis uh, this uh, let's call this x and uh, let's call this y so you can see this this figure given is uh, symmetrical to x and y axis and therefore the cg will be at the intersection of these two axes and this will be the cg of this uh, area and uh, that is the same uh, the case is same here as well in in this video where you can see the the shape is symmetrical to x and y axis and therefore the CG will be here. This point will be the CG. Uh, now, uh, please bear in mind these these uh, three conditions. Uh, one, the axis of reference. You can find the center of gravity based center of gravity of an area based on any axis, and that axis is called the axis of reference. And for plane figures, the axis of reference usually is the bottommost line for determining um, y bar and uh, the leftmost line for calculating x bar now if the section section is given is symmetrical to x or y axis then the center of gravity uh, if it is symmetrical to both x and y axis center of gravity will lie at intersection of those axes and if it is uh, just symmetrical to uh, say for example x axis then y bar will be somewhere on the x axis and if the body is symmetrical to y-axis then uh, x bar will be somewhere on the uh, that that axis we will see that in a uh, uh, problem here now what you have here is a, a, a t-shaped figure um, you have your x and y-axis uh, marked up x and y and you can also see uh, this axis uh, this shape is symmetrical to the axis shown here which means your x bar will be lying or your uh, your coordinate for the uh, the x coordinate of the center of gravity will be lying somewhere in this line and what you all need to find out is the y coordinate of the center of gravity so we usually call it y bar this is all you need to find in this case because your x bar will be this distance It is like somewhere here and uh, once you get your y bar you can fix the point of the center of gravity now you know y bar is is equal to if you have different shapes or if you have a, a multiple shapes in an area or multiple areas in a shape you can find a y bar using this equation a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus etc a n y n over a1 plus a2 plus etc yeah, yeah now you can use the same equations here but you may be confused where you have different areas now if you want to calculate um, the center of gravity of complex geometries which are not sphere or cylinder or uh, uh, rectangle or circle uh, then you will need to divide the the given area into different components of standard shapes uh, which means here you can you can uh, divide this shape into two uh, rectangles i'm just drawing another line here you can you can divide this shape into two rectangles with this you can calculate this as area one or assume this as area one and assume this as area two now um i'm giving the dimensions here i haven't, I haven't given the dimensions so let's say this is 10 and uh, this two as 10 
the total distance is 10 and say this is 2 and uh, therefore this will be 4 and 4 and uh, let's say again this 2 so this distance will be 8 and this will be 4 4 each now a1 the area of first uh, rectangle which is uh, 8 by 2 is 16 16 units uh, a2 that is uh, um, 10 times 2 that is 20 now y1 and y2 how would you calculate the y1 and y2 because you you know the, the this is a uh, now this is a symmetrical um, shape to both x and y axis because you don't have this area 2 when you consider the first one now because it's a symmetrical uh, shape for both x and y axis the the center of gravity of shape 1 will lie at the intersection of the axis which means you will have a symmetrical axis passing somewhere through here and you can see that distance will be half of the total distance therefore this is half of this total distance therefore it is 4 and therefore you can see y1 is equal to 4 now to calculate y2 again you can calculate the uh, you can you can consider the second area and uh, draw the symmetrical line through the intersection and you can see this is 2 and therefore this distance from here to here it will be 1 however you got to make sure that uh, uh, when you find the the y distances always take the distance from the reference axis <coughs> excuse me and in this case your reference axis is this one and therefore the distance to this point from here is what you need to calculate so that is up to here it is 8 and here it is 1 therefore it is 9 therefore you have y2 equal to 9 now you can use this equation here to calculate y bar or the y coordinate of your center of gravity and that is 16 times 4 plus a2 y2 which is 20 times 9 over a1 plus a2 which is 16 plus 20 that is 64 plus 180 over 36 is 224 over 36 and that will be just using my calculator here 224 over 36 that is 6.22 and that is the distance to the y coordinate of center of gravity from the reference axis and we already know that the x coordinate is this distance which is 5 half of the total distance so x x bar is already fixed which is 5 and y bar is 6.22 so because it's 6.22 you can see this is 4 so 6.22 will be somewhere here and you have your this is your one symmetrical axis and uh, 6.22 will be your next symmetrical axis and therefore this is the center of gravity of the shape and uh, the coordinates at that point is x5 and y6.22 
that is your center of gravity for the given shape. I hope you understood this, uh, this simple example clearly. Um, in case of any doubt, please comment and uh, um, I will get back to you with uh, 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 a required answer. Thank you.